This week, we're coming to you from the past. Chuck, everything we experience through our senses has happened in the past. Because we see things not as they are, but as they once were. Because of the light travel time between us. That's awful. Especially when you consider my past. <laughs> I don't want to know your past. All I know is this is Wheel of Science. Everybody, welcome to Wheel of Science, the interactive show where we answer your questions about the universe. I'm your host, Chuck Nice, and I don't answer your questions. We have with us, as usual, the one, the only, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. What's up, Neil? You know I love doing that. So, Neil, you're beaming in from Vegas, huh? Yeah, I got a, I got a gig tonight. I'm giving a public talk on astrophysics. There is some learning that goes on in the town, apparently. I was going to say, that's the most exciting thing I've ever heard happening in Vegas. Well, one thing is for sure, we know we always win when we bet on Neil deGrasse Tyson. Are you really betting on the universe when you bet on me? Because all I am is a conduit to it. Oh, I meant bet on the black. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Neil, what time is it, my friend? It's just spin the wheel. There you go. Annalisa Essie Katrina Lee says, my daughters, ages 8 and 11, want to know, would it actually be easier to travel forward in time rather than backward, and what would that require? Oh, we can easily travel forward in time, and we've known how to do that since 1905. Einstein's special theory of relativity lays out the whole recipe of how you can move into the future. And all you have to do is go into a sort of a lower gravity field relative to other people or just travel very fast and your clock will tick slower than that of everybody else that you've left behind and then when you return you'll be younger than your twin for example if you had left your twin back on earth so in that sense you are traveling into the future that's easy to do and we've known how to do that traveling backwards that's the problem and it takes we think we can do that i have some colleagues who've made some calculations that assert that depending on a, or a, a trajectory you take around a black hole, you can come out and end up in the past of when you started. So, but that takes extraordinary setup to make happen. But right now, no problem traveling into the future. So it's either lower gravity, travel faster than the speed of light, or very good moisturizer. <laughs> And uh, not only that, the GPS satellites, which are farther away from the center of the Earth than we are, they experience less gravity than we do, and GPS clocks tick faster than our clocks. Yet we're getting our time from them. And so they know this in advance. Rather, we've programmed in the relativity correction to compensate for this fact so that when they do give us the time it's the right time not the relativistic time that it wants to keep by being where it is in orbit awesome all right neil you ready for the next question spin the wheel how theoretically might time travel be a wormhole work whoa oh yeah so what a wormhole enables by the way if you manage to travel someplace faster than light you have the capacity to move backwards in time that's we've got that one established as well we just don't have any easy way to travel faster than light but one one way that's been celebrated in science fiction and you can write it out on paper legitimately is a wormhole a wormhole i'm over here and i want to get over there and i want to get there quickly i want to get there before the end of the commercial break Okay, so you can travel through a wormhole that changes the effective distance between where you are and where you're going. And then you sort of look around when you get there and you find, oh my gosh, I've traveled 100,000 light years in a matter of a moment. Okay, when you do that, you have the capacity to move backwards in time relative to when you left. Now, you don't get to visit yourself. You're in a sort of a different a space-time trajectory so you can't shake hands with yourself before you left that so if that's what you're thinking of doing no and by the way there's a huge there's a huge paradox that people worry about and and many people including Stephen Hawking the late Stephen Hawking worried whether this paradox would prevent backwards time travel completely because if you go back in time and prevent your parents from meeting one another then they wouldn't have ever given birth to you 
to go back in time to prevent them from meeting one another. First of all, let me just say, I stopped listening when you said, I can't shake hands with myself. <laughs> all right, we have to take a break now, but we'll be back with more of your questions and a caption contest featuring a picture of Neil doing something weird. Thanks to Wix for supporting this episode of Wheel of Science. Have you been on the fence about making a personal or professional website? Wix is here to help you get it done. Loads of templates for any need, dozens of fonts to match your vision. Wix has you covered. To create your own professional website, go to wix.com slash go slash StarTalk. Make sure you use that special StarTalk link. We also put it in the description. Hey, send us your sites in the comments. Welcome back to Wheel of Science. It's time for another question. You ready, Neil? Spin the wheel, Chuck. Eric Varga wants to know this. What would you say is the most accurate time travel show or a movie and why? Ooh. Hmm. It's really hard to do an accurate movie and still have interesting plot lines. So, given that they take some loosey-goosey steps with, it, with time travel, I have to say that Doctor Who, as a TV series, is the, the most invested in the authenticity of their time travel storytelling. And so, they thought about the contradictions and the paradoxes, and they have their own solutions to all of that. Now, on the on the state side, I would say there's nothing like the original Back to Future movie, the first one. That one, they thought it through. They imagined consequences. They uh, So I give both of them sort of equal high ranking. And as a special mention, you got to love Bill and Ted. <laughs> Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Come on. I mean, that's, that's a, a special runner-up special mention for uh, time travel exploits. All three, very good. Uh, the most disturbing of the three, definitely Back to the Future, where you have to make sure that your parents smash so that you can be born. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's time for our caption contest where we took a picture of Neil and you provided the captions. And the winner is Harry Shulk with Astrophysics. They're great! <laughs> Two thumbs up on that one. So my my caption was, because you're like this, I once saw a black hole this big. But <laughs> they didn't like it. They didn't like it, neither. <laughs> time now for our Wheel of Science poll. If you could time travel, would you travel to the past or the future? Make sure that you answer the poll and leave comments on this video. Hey, everybody, that's our show. And as usual, it's a pleasure to have the one, the only, Neil deGrasse Tyson with us. Thanks, Neil. Chuck, I'm delighted to always be in arm's reach of you, no matter where I am in the... Yeah, and I know that's how you like to keep me, at arm's reach. Don't think I forgot about that restraining order. What website will you make with Wix? A photography site, a wedding site, a personal site? Wix will help you get your site up in just minutes. Don't believe me? I created the wheel of science.com on Wix in the same amount of time as I created all three of my children. Okay, that's almost correct. You can see it for yourself. I was able to embed every episode of the show on the site. I added custom thumbnails for each episode so they each look special. I just had to click on the text boxes in the templates to put in titles and descriptions for each episode. There's no reason why you can't start your site right now. Even a comedian can do it. Go to Wix.com slash go slash StarTalk and make a professional website today. You can upgrade it and add your own domain and get some great extra features with their premium plans. Click on that link in the description and get started on your website right away. Hey, everybody. Until next time, I'm Chuck Knight saying thanks for watching Wheel of Science.